Hello everybody, welcome back to another day of some 31 days of Plinko. We are here today in Kings Falls and what we are going to do today is actually finish up something that we started a while back ago and that is work on a station for our coaster over here, which I honestly I still don't have a name for. I'm still kind of figuring that out. I'm not really sure. I've got a couple of ideas on kind of floating around in my head on what we might call it, but I don't really know yet. So, but yeah. I've kind of redid the coaster slightly, made some alterations to it, um, especially right around the, like the queue line and stuff here. So originally I had the queue line kind of coming around this way and I've now changed the side that the actual entrance and exits are on and also moved the lift hill over just a little bit. You guys probably won't even be able to notice that the lift hill has been moved. Um, also kind of redid this right here a little bit too. So I made this uh, kind of go up a little bit right here. So, oh, look, there goes the coaster. Yay. All right. Um, so I'm going to be having a train go through here. So I figured it might be best to kind of raise this up a little bit. Kind of make a little bit of an airtime hill right there. Just a kind of a bunny hop. Uh, that, Of course, that's more of a hop. That It's, it's low. It's not exactly a high jump, but, you know, it's long. So I guess that would be a bunny jump. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to work on the actual station today, so we're going to be doing that in time lapse, and let's go ahead and jump right in that, shall we? Alrighty, now that we're in time lapse mode, let's go ahead and get some construction going here. First off, we're going to start with the roof. Um, a lot of people, now I talked about this a long time ago, and I haven't actually talked about this in a while, but a lot of people were like, why do you always start with the roof? Because uh, most people start with the walls and then build up. I kind of start with the roof and build down. <laughs> so uh, people think that's kind of weird. But it's just how I work. Um, I kind of get an idea like how tall it's going to be and everything from that. And it, it just kind of helps me out to, to get a feeling for everything. Um, so that, that's why I always start with that there. Uh, now when it comes to the station for this coaster... I'll be honest, um, it's been a while. I, I built the coaster months ago, and uh, since I only typically do one Planet Coaster video a month right now, it's very hard to kind of get back and get kind of back into the building of something. So um, I built the coaster, and then I just kind of left it there with the station never being actually complete. And um, again, 100% honesty, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the actual station, really. Um, I thought at some point I would just kind of research up and just kind of look at a bunch of different stations and stuff and try to maybe find one that gave me some inspiration and I never actually got around to doing that. So now that I'm doing these, um, these daily videos right now for the month of January, I've been really needing to try to like up my game and try to figure out something I can make a video of that you guys are going to like. So again, we started out slow. But as you can see, the videos are getting a little better with each video. We're getting into more and more stuff. We're kind of getting more into what I like to call um, the the meat and potatoes of everything. So I did say that once I actually got finished uh, and I wasn't actually like constantly needed at work and I had some time off, I would work on some more detailed things. And, you know, yesterday I did the, uh, the new stuff entrance for a new collaboration park today i am back in king's falls which uh, some of you were asking me about king's falls some of you were like are you gonna ever go back to king's falls uh the answer is yes i'm here now as you can see <laughs> um and coming back to king's falls this was something that you know i i had to do the haunted castle for halloween um it was something i really wanted to do for halloween was build a haunted house in the park so we did the uh the haunted castle which not a lot of you actually watched so you know i know it's not halloween but you guys should totally go back and watch that because um it i kind of had to rush it but i think it for rushing it it came out quite well i think uh i think one of the things we're probably going to do during the next um like few weeks is probably go back to that and kind of finish up what i didn't get to finish on that that's probably something we'll do a lot of these videos are going to be just things that you know need to be done and i've just been putting off forever or you know stuff like that so um yeah so you know since you know if you didn't actually get a chance to actually watch 
that video with the Halloween episode of King's Falls. I highly suggest just, you know, checking it out. So after you get done watching this, do a search for it. Uh, it just look for the King's Falls things. You should find it. It's like a Halloween special. Um, I love doing uh, Halloween is always my favorite thing of the year. And I love doing Halloween stuff like that. So um, I just I waited till the last minute and ran out of time. And that's why that video wasn't the greatest. But I still got a, quite a bit done on it. I love the outside of it. And it fits really well into the park where I put it too. So uh, I digress, actually, because I'm not talking about um, the Halloween stuff right now. I'm talking about this station. So, But I guess this is kind of a lead up to it. So, you know, I wanted to come back and work on this station. But, the, you know, the next time I was actually back in this park was for Halloween. And not, obviously, I, I couldn't get anything done during that time. So here we are today uh, as part of my 31 days of planko back here in the park and it, it was just a perfect opportunity to come back and finish up the station and i am taking advantage of that opportunity so i still i honestly i had no idea what i was going to do um literally last night i started looking up like some stations and stuff as i was about to go to bed and i just decided you know what since this coaster is basically this park's beast let's just kind of take inspiration from the beast station and that's what we're doing, pretty much. Uh, it's not an exact recreation. Um, it's definitely already, like, I've already, like, uh, switched sides. So it's actually a reverse version of it. Uh, but I am taking cues and things from the B station to kind of um, make it a little more out there. You know, not exactly like a big square building or anything. I wanted to give it some, some nice touches and some little details and stuff. And that's why I'm making the entire station out of planks and boards and stuff so um i can't really get the shaping and stuff i like when i use just walls but since i needed this to be very very specifically shaped i can do that with planks and boards and one of the things that i do quite a bit is what you're seeing right here <laughs> Uh, I Silverwood is absolutely full of buildings that I've created out of just using beams and, and planks and stuff just to make the building itself and, the, and to get the right shape. Um, it's, it's difficult, it's time consuming, um, but the end result actually comes out quite nice. Uh, I just wish we had like one meter versions of these planks that I was using because we have two meters and four meters, but we don't have any one meters. So I have to kind of... Uh, I gotta change up what I was doing here a little bit. So I ended up having to use these other planks here, which actually are in, in one meter, but they don't match per se. Um, had a yawn again. So, um, yeah, that, but they don't actually match the color, and it, the texture's not exactly the same. So it doesn't quite look right, but again, I think that kind of gives the building a little bit of flavor. Almost kind of like that it's been there, maybe these boards have been replaced, or they're the replacement boards for boards that have rotted out or something like that, so, uh, but it definitely gives it that worn kind of look, I think. At least, I, I kind of feel that way, so you guys can let me know if you think so or not. Um, and then, of course, as you can see here, the, the B station kind of has this little, like, open kind of part in the top of the station with these like cross beams kind of going across it so I wanted to put that in there for sure and of course we also have the the front of the building kind of like how it is too and over here where uh, the exit is and stuff as well here this part I'm building on right now in the video this is also pretty much um, a recreation of what the beast actually has on its uh, or at least you know the best that I am wanting to do in Planet Coaster <laughs> um, I could probably do even better, but in the interest of time, um, I was just trying to get it done just a, kind of fast. Uh, this right here, I actually, so it had this little kind of other part that kind of come off of the side right there. And I honestly had no idea how I was going to do that until I suddenly remembered, oh wait, there are ThemeMaker's Toolkit corrugated um, roof panels and stuff, like uh, sheet metal. I could totally use that to make the small piece of the roof right there and kind of make this little part that juts out. And I'm glad I come up with that because uh, that actually works quite well. Uh, now, of course, we can't just have a floating roof, so we're going to have to put some beams and things in here as well. 
so I decided to use these big kind of thick beams, which um, once I get them down there, you know, they're, at this point, I know it looks like I'm like kind of just taking the camera every which way. But again, in time lapse, I was actually doing that a little slow, kind of just kind of figure out where I need to put certain pieces and, and how things kind of matched up. So, yeah. Um, but I really like the using these posts specifically. And then, of course, I'm going to extend out the the, um, the roof there a little bit, kind of like I did the other side. Now, one of the things I'm not going to get into in this episode is a lot more of the detail. I'm probably going to do one more episode working on this station in the area right here with it. We'll probably do some more terrain work. We'll probably do more fencing. I'm going to fix the bridges that lead over to it uh, and so forth and so forth. Uh, you know, there's still a lot more work to do on this. So this is not a finished product per se, but this was as about as done as I was going to do for the evening. So... And hopefully you guys really enjoy the work. So, like I said, I'm when I'm not working and I have a like a day off and I have, or a few days off in a row. Uh, considering I'm down to only like 20 hours a week right now, I can take some time, get into the game, and kind of like build some stuff that you know I don't have to really rush on. But I kind of do have to rush on. So I don't have to, but yet I do because I want to get these videos out for like the next day. So. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it's it, I'm having trouble trying to come up with stuff to build every day. I've got a few things kind of up my sleeve, um, but honestly, um, I, it is it is kind of hard coming up with something that I can do on a daily basis. I've got to come up with 31 videos total for this entire month, and I am even though I have plenty of ideas, I am actually running out of things that I do want to do. So, yeah, uh, so. We'll probably work on this some more. Uh, obviously, we're going to jump back into Crystal Gardens. Um, I've, you guys have given some great suggestions and stuff for um, what we're going to replace, you know, which coaster is going to get axed and which one we're going to, you know, what we're going to do to replace that and stuff. I've got an excellent idea. It's, um, I'm not actually going to use anybody's specific suggestion, but your suggestions have helped me make a decision on what I'm going to do. And it is based off of uh, a lot of people's different ideas. So, uh, unanimously, everybody has kind of voted for Switchback to be the coaster that will leave Crystal Gardens. And that will be the coaster that will be going. I can honestly tell you that right now. That is going to be the coaster that will be going. Um, I've already got a replacement for it in mind. And again, it is based off of what you guys out there have been writing and suggesting and stuff. And I kind of looked at all your feedback and again, I'm not using anything specific that anybody actually suggested. There were some great ideas there. Family Boomerang was a good one. Um, some people had suggested like some other things that just actually don't fit. I mean, I would love to put them in there, but they just don't fit. Um, but I was able to, again, take your guys' suggestions and I kind of ran with it, and I think I come up with something that's going to work, and that everybody is going to really, really love. So we're going to get back into Crystal Gardens here soon. Uh, we're going to we're going to take a trip back into Hard Rock Park. Uh, you guys remember that one, right? It's a brand new park that I just started. We will be visiting that as well. Um, I might even have an opportunity to go back to Whitaker Lake, my experimental park, and maybe kind of work in that possibly that might be something we might do um and you know lots of other stuff too i i'm probably going to do just some coasters in fact while i'm not doing anything really in this video that you know is worth really talking about i mean i'm just basically putting a platform down underneath of this and some walls uh i do want to mention that an idea that i am actually having right now is my patreons so all of my patreons out there you guys who have actually subscribed to me on patreon and like are, are donating money to me on a monthly basis i very much appreciate that i am going to do a coaster for you so if you are one of my patreon subscribers and you're watching this and i'm going to mention this a couple more times as well i am going to do a coaster just for you i'm going to make an entire video about that so if you are a patron let me know what type of coaster you would like. Uh, you know, do you want a invert? Do you want a launch coaster? You know, something like that. Tell me what kind of coaster you like, 
and and why and uh, I will do a video and build a coaster just for you so that's something I'm gonna do this month as well that that that'll be a good way to kind of uh, fill up some some of these days and stuff so I've also got a couple of other coasters I want to build as well in my head I've seen some concept art of some things that I just thought was kind of cool and I was like you know what I could probably recreate that in Planet Coaster so we're gonna do that too all right but we're at the end of the time lapse let's go ahead and jump over I just kind of want to show off what we have finished so far and talk about what we're gonna do next Alrighty guys, here we are in the park and let's go ahead and kind of talk about what we have. So you guys are watching the construction of it as I rambled and ranted on. Um, I was thinking about just doing the construction video, just the time lapse and just put it to music. But I've actually had a couple people tell me they prefer me to talk during the video, even if I'm just, you know, rambling about how my day is going or something. So we, we do have that. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do uh, in one of the upcoming videos is we're probably going to do another queue building right over here. Um, and I was kind of thinking about, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but I might put like a water mill right here or something right next to it. I, I haven't decided yet. That's a possibility. I feel like we might do something like that and maybe do like kind of a little like resting area here, like a viewing area that kind of overlooks everything. Um, I think I'm also going to make this a covered bridge and do this one as an open air bridge. I was originally going to do this as the covered bridge, but then I figured it's going to block the view of our nice, awesome station that we've built here. So don't want to do that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep using this fencing or not. I think probably not. I think I may end up doing some kind of custom fencing around the edges of it so that's something that's also got to come got to do some more terrain work and some other stuff but um, also I'm going to go in and kind of change up some of the colors and stuff on some of the wood like I've kind of done already here um, just to kind of give it I just figured it looks way too there's too much brown here there's way too much brown so I thought maybe we could maybe uh, I don't know change up some of the colors of the wood and, and maybe add a little bit of color here and there maybe one option I was just actually thinking about as I was getting ready to do this video and after I've already got all of this kind of built and everything, I was looking at it and I was like, what if I did white wood? You know, like what if I changed all of the wood kind of to white? That was a thought that I kind of had. So if you guys think that might actually work, let me know. I could also maybe do maybe a darker wood as well and kind of just, I don't know. I could even do it maybe even a redder wood as well so maybe a dark crimson and kind of a, a even darker red like almost a like a blackish red could also work I kind of as you can see I kind of started putting some of the boards into kind of a reddish kind of color but that's more of a reddish brown we, we could totally do something a little darker with that so that's an option I don't know what do you guys think about how we can possibly make the station give it a little bit of color so i mean it's just it's so brown <laughs> i mean there's there's no other way to describe it uh i also thought about maybe changing the coaster to a different color as well maybe even doing the coaster in a more of a red wood i know the beast is almost kind of an orangey kind of wood so maybe we might turn the coaster into more of a kind of a, a beastie kind of look uh go with more not BC because BC is a different coaster or it used to be um, but we could maybe go with like more of a, the the beasts kind of orangish red like lacquer color finish or whatever that you would call that on their wood so uh, we could maybe do something like that I also uh, I probably don't know if I'm going to keep our cars red or not either we may actually change that out too Again, 100% not sure on that. Uh, I would love your feedback on this, guys. So, you know, you guys have worked, you did an awesome job giving me feedback on the last video about which coaster we would probably remove. And, it, you know, it's not even been that long and, and you guys have left tons and tons of comments. So I would love to hear your comments about this. What do you think? Um, how can we color it up? Uh, how can we, like, fix it up and make it even nicer? So, yeah, uh, would love to hear that. Uh, I'll give it a couple of days before we probably come back here and and work some more on this But again, I, I kind of think we're probably gonna change out the fencing so 
Uh, you can kind of see here I've kind of was working on some of this side over here as well. And this right here, which I, I really like. I did miss a board right there when I was moving some things around. So I will have to fix that. Uh, and then I even put like a little edge over here, which I also got to do some work to. I noticed the game kind of lags out a little bit when I start spinning around in this particular direction. I think it's the Eiffel Tower. Anytime I start facing the park where the Eiffel Tower is, it's just like, it, it wants to kind of lag out. Then again, it's not just the Eiffel Tower that direction, it is pretty much the entire park is over that direction, so it's it's trying to load up so many pieces, I guess, and kind of lagging the game out. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about in this? Uh, I added another waterfall back here in the background. I didn't talk about that in the very beginning of the video, but uh, we have another waterfall back there, right where it goes across the river there. That, that looks really good right there. So, I'm, I'm loving how this is coming out. And of course, we're going to have the train that's going to go across through here as well and kind of go that direction, which will probably be raised up a little bit off the, off the ground. And I think the train station is probably going to go right over here somewhere. And it's going to have a, a turnaround as well. So Because it's, uh, it's not going to be one of those trains. This is going to be like a park where I'm not going to do a train that goes all the way around the park with multiple stations. It's only going to have one station, and that's it. Um, I know Kings Island has two stations. It's got the one station and it's got one over where Waterworks is. Other than that, it that's pretty much it. But before Waterworks or whatever their uh, Boomerang Bay, what is the name of their water park? I, I hate water parks, so it's not really my thing and I, I can't remember what they actually call their water park. Uh, so Soaking Bay, I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> As much as I love King's Island, I can't remember all of a sudden what the name of their stupid water park is. Uh, I, I'm i not saying I hate water parks in Planet Coaster, though, because a, a water park DLC for Planet Coaster would have been awesome. And no, we are not going to get it. Uh, as much as people want it, it's not going to happen. In fact, we're probably not going to get any more DLC for this game at all. So uh, if we get any more DLC for Planet Coaster, it will definitely surprise the hell out of me to be honest um i do think they might probably already have started on maybe working on planet coaster 2 so i i could see a planet coaster 2 coming out maybe next year i don't think we'll see it this year maybe next year but I, even then i think that's kind of pushing it so but anyway guys that's gonna do it for me, uh, I don't have a whole lot else to kind of discuss right now. Again, next episode, we'll come back in here. We'll take care of these bridges. We'll fix up this little area a little bit more and kind of work on this. That'll be um, a few days. I got uh, lots of other stuff I'm probably going to be doing before then. Uh, we'll probably get back to Crystal Gardens before we come back and work on this. Or, or maybe not. I don't know. I honestly, I'm taking this one day at a time right now as I'm making these videos. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. But thanks for joining me on my little adventure of construction here in Kings Falls. I can't wait to get see you guys in the next video. So uh, until then, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for watching.